Peace everyone, Unmask Art here, and today I'll be showing you how to color a glass of whiskey, or apple juice, whichever you prefer. I drew this using polychromos pencils on Stonehenge vellum paper. Also, if you'd like to watch the real-time drawing of this tutorial, you can find that over on my Patreon page. Not only will you have access to this tutorial, but over 100 previously recorded tutorials as well, and new tutorials are live streamed every week. Okay, so getting on to the drawing now. I had several requests for translucent objects. Specifically, I was asked how to create such effects. These types of objects have three consistent properties and knowing them will help you going forward. The first and perhaps the most important is contrast. You see, the illusion of shine does not always come from the brightest highlight. For instance, how would you go any brighter if you're already working on white paper? That is where your other colors come in. The darker, more contrasted the surrounding colors of the highlight are, the brighter the shine will appear. This property is universal, even beyond subjects like this. Just remember, bright highlights are sometimes made brighter by darkening rather than lightening. The second property in common with translucent or shiny objects is sharpness. On curved, smooth objects, light is bent and stretched, and when it is bent, it creates very clean and sharp lines. You can see me putting these lines in the very beginning. I use a pencil to do this, however I made the suggestion to my patrons that ink would have been a better choice for this drawing. Pencils just aren't as sharp as pens, and black ink will have cleaner edges. So when drawing objects like this, keep your hard edges nice and sharp. Those lines define the shape, so make sure they're accurate also. The third and final property is vibrancy. To really bring everything together, you have to be bold with your colors. Don't be afraid of really letting them show. Eventually, we all have to get over our color fear, and if you hold back your colors, your drawing will always look slightly washed out. Cover up the paper completely, otherwise those light areas will diminish the quality of your highlights. Alright everyone, here is the finished drawing. I hope you enjoyed the video and found it helpful. Remember, if you want to see the real-time tutorial, you can find that along with a reference photo over on my Patreon page. And I'll see you next time. Take care. Peace.